Hello and welcome back guys this is cyber security and today in this video we are going to see how we can install virtual environment of windows in our virtual box so like that if you are using something else or you need a virtual system for testing something like virus or your script or something in windows system then how you can install a virtual environment in your virtual box so for doing that we need to download the virtual image for the windows which is available on windows windows 10 virtual box image if you want the windows 10 or else just go with this link i will provide this link in the description now from here you can select whatever windows virtual environment you want like 7 8 8.1 is there and this is the 10th one and from here choose whatever the virtualization software you are using like hyper-v vmware or virtualbox i am downloading it for virtualbox just select it from here and from download you can able to download this i already downloaded this that's why i am not downloading and this is for windows 10 if you want windows 11 click on the first link i will provide this link also and from here you can download the windows 11 development environment for your virtual box image here is the selection for what kind of virtualization software you are using so we are we want virtual box one so it's going to be download i'm cancelling it because i i already have and this will work till 5 march after that you need to update it with the new environment they will provide so don't worry with that these virtual box images are stable for long terms like five to six months this is the process for downloading the file so let's see over here if i go in the my folder where i downloaded it so this is the file i got like this one windows 10 and this is the windows 11 so we need to unzip it because it is a zip file so for unzipping it extract here and your process will get started same for this one too unzip here let's wait till our process is going on by the way if you are guys new to our channel please subscribe it for seeing future videos in that and and kindly go with our instagram for every day we are posting new things so this is our instagram page please uh, follow it and so we got our file extracted though so these are the ova files means virtual box files so you don't need to do anything just double click it and your virtual box will automatically import it so i already imported it so it's showing finish so this is the file see here it's importing appliance and this is the second one double click and finish imported that's it you can able to see the your files so let me close all the things and the interface will come and in the setting you can able to customize your how much cpu you want to give and how much display memory let me pull it and uh, recording i don't want ram i will give 2 gb because it's windows 10 it will able to handle and cpu i will give 2 give only as per your cpu have the power because if you give all the cpu or maximum cpu to vm then your host machine will get start lagging and you can't able to do any work so give the things as what you have to give and um, here i will select nat network and in serial i am not attaching any usb to it so this is it the settings now I start the machine So till it is starting let me see on the another machine and it's started so here password is the default password which is capital p e double s w and not o it is zero r d and exclamatory mark which is like this and press enter you'll get entered in the windows 10 virtual environment this is it for windows 10 see this this is the service pack now you can able to do everything of the windows over here it is 40 gb disk because we imported the default files if you want to increase or decrease the disk then you need to install it manually first you need to create a new interface for it and then from in go in the storage and here select your disk file that will help you with the inst uh, manual installing 
here also i will select nat network storage um, processor now for um, let me show um, tell you guys like uh, for windows 11 you need to give minimum four processors it because without four processors it won't be smoothly work and 4 gpus of ram so this is the minimum requirement for the windows 11 if you give minimum than 10 like 3 or 1 processor it won't be work and it will become so laggy so let me start it this one too this is our windows 10 let me skip it over here um if you are using any other virtualization software like uh, vmware or hyper v then download your oh, virtual file as as what your software is and directly import the importing process will be same for all just create a uh, folder for it and import that file and you'll able to use the virtual image So now it's started in windows 11 you don't need to give any password only windows 10 machine have the password which I told you, but in Windows 11 is open. So now it is started. Your um, this is your Windows 11 virtual machine environment. So. From here you can see this your Linux too and this folder will be available when you share any folder with the machine then it will be available over here and this is the PDF of your machine start using continue this is the license for your machine and you will able to customize your display settings from here I need to increase it for keep change and this is it so this is the windows 11 environment and this is windows 10 one so you can able to install this both but it will totally depends upon your cpu that how much pressure it can able to to manage so and kindly go through our instagram page we are going to be on here we will post every day and kindly check your website for any type of help with the with the domain in cyber security so thank you guys we will meet in another video